Welcome to Saturday. We're filming on Saturday, and I believe it was today that Biden dropped out of the election. So we thought it was fitting to film a video on Drip Drop. Today is Sunday, actually. Oh, it's Sunday. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Our company is Saturday. I'm wearing the wrong shirt. Let me change my shirt. Hey, welcome to Saturday. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we are going to be reviewing Drip Drop Oral Rehydration System. Let's drop in. <laughs> <laughs> so this product was created by Dr. Eduardo and his idea behind creating the product was to find an alternative to IV rehydration in the mission field and he wanted to create the perfect product to rehydrate people who were moderately or mildly dehydrated. This particular package comes in four flavors, berry, lemon, orange, and watermelon. A serving size is one stick and in one stick there is zero fat, which is great, 330 milligrams of sodium, nine grams of carbohydrates, zero protein, 70 milligrams of vitamin C, 39 milligrams of magnesium, 1.5 milligrams of zinc, and 185 milligrams of potassium. That's a lot of things added to it that don't actually improve hydration and not enough of what is actually needed to improve hydration. Sodium is what you need. We're looking at 330 milligrams per stick. That's one serving. How much fluid does it say to mix it with? So it suggests to mix one stick, which is 330 milligrams of sodium into eight ounces of water and I crunched the numbers, it means that if you were to use this concentration that they recommend, that you would get 38 grams of carbs per liter of water, just under 1400 milligrams of sodium per liter of water, and around 780 milligrams of potassium per liter of water. So their suggested use is to use one stick per eight ounces of water, and it says right here on the package, the adults can drink up to 16 servings per day. So that's 16 eight ounce glasses and 16 sticks per day. And incidentally, there are 16 servings or 16 sticks in this package. So they are recommending to use an that you can use an entire package per day. So basically in short, that, that one stick that you added to your water in the morning does nothing. Let's go into the ingredients. So it looks like the first ingredient is sugar, then fructose, sodium citrate, citric acid, natural flavor, potassium citrate, magnesium citrate, dextrose, which is glucose outside the body, salt, ascorbic acid, fruit and vegetable juice as coloring, sucralose and zinc aspartate. They've got sucralose in it to sweeten it up and they've also added fructose on top of sugar to sweeten it even further so that it's a high palatability beverage. I think it's this would be fine on the mission field when you're trying to rehydrate people who are clinically dehydrated and, and my bet is that they would have like a batch processing system to like open dozens of sticks at once so that they could actually rehydrate people because eight ounces is going to do nothing. This is a maybe a great mission field product unless you have like a machine that snips all the packets for you and keeps them going all day. I don't know. Yeah it does seem like if they had a, a giant bucket of this stuff and they could concentrate it uh, it might be useful but in these little tiny sticks it's just it's not super practical. I hate to bring it always back to cost, but it just, it blows my mind that I think each stick is probably more than a dollar. I haven't even checked the price. Maybe we should check the price. I did want to note that uh, it's good that they included sodium citrate in their product. I noticed that they also used magnesium citrate and potassium citrate, and they probably used those forms because of the high bioavailability. However, unfortunately, potassium and magnesium uh, really aren't as beneficial as we want to think. So they probably could have left those out, but I am a fan of the sodium citrate that they included as their one, two, third ingredient. How are you in terms of being a fan of $2 per stick? Is that really what it is? Yeah, for real. $2 per one stick. It's actually more than that. It's like $2.10 per stick. I am not a fan any longer. I am not a fan. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, this stuff is enjoyable to drink. It tastes good, I think, on a hot summer day with some ice cubes in a gla eight ounce glass, or probably I would have more than eight ounces. This costs $36. That bag in your hand costs $36. I'm actually horrified that we paid for that. Oh yeah, by the way, we, we, buy, all of the, <laughs> we buy all of the supplements that we're gonna tell you about. Wait, we paid $36 for this? Probably, I probably found a deal for like 20 something on yeah, Amazon. I can't imagine we paid $36 uh, I for might, this. I might have. I don't even know what to say. When you realize, <laughs> how much money you're paying for sugar and salt or sodium citrate which you can find on Amazon too or our helpful links page on our website when you realize how much you're paying 
for the base ingredients that actually do the job of this thing, which are sugar and salt, mm -hmm. you are either going to be very angry at the companies who have sold you, or you're gonna do what you're doing right now, which is rationalizing why you made the purchase. Oh, but it really works for me, and I just feel so much more... Don't insult them. <laughs> Empathize. No, I, I'm not saying that's what <laughs> they're doing. We understand. I've been there. I've been there. I've been in hot Tennessee when it, I feel like I'm going to die because my blood pressure is like 100 over 50 or something and I'm sweating or I have s ceased sweating and I'm wandering through the grocery store aisles thinking I need something to rehydrate me. This is a while ago. Sure, yeah. um, I've seen stuff like this thinking, oh, that's what I need. I need dehydration relief fast. I get it. And honestly, you see this like nice picture of this doctor serving, you know, children in other countries and you think, oh, you know, that's just so wonderful. I want to support this cause. I mean, I get it. I totally get it. And then you see like you have a headache because you're dehydrated and you see the picture on the back of illness, heat, diuretics, exercise, travel, sleep. Well, that all applies to me. So I might as well buy this. And then, you know, they, they list the fatigue, headache, brain fog, muscle cramps, dizziness, extreme thirst, dry mouth, bad breath, dry skin, sinus me up I've got all those things so yeah I'm gonna buy this so I I'm not insulting anybody I have been there let me tell you oh and then it says three times the electrolytes well that sounds promising I'm dehydrated and I've heard that electrolytes are great so might as well buy it I'm just saying I'm not judging anybody I wouldn't buy this now now that I know that this is a huge waste of money and it doesn't work any better than anything else but I mean I've made the mistake I've had this in my shopping cart before do you have any thoughts that was quite the empathic rant <laughs> <laughs> so how can you make this in your kitchen? Um, you could do uh, two teaspoons of sugar and eighth of a teaspoon salt. That's it, for real. That's what's that's what's in this that hydrates you. Well, what about the flavoring? Uh, you could squeeze a drop of lemon juice in it, or you could buy lemon juice in bulk and sprinkle a couple drops in. Or maybe even some slices of watermelon, or they don't have cucumber flavor, but I'm just thinking about slicing some cucumbers. Because I wouldn't use this as a sport beverage myself. I would use this for, I was kind of doing some light yard work or something and I was sweating and I just want something refreshing. I would not like bring this with me if I were going to a triathlon or something or a cycling race. Cause you'd have to take 48 sticks. I just can't afford it. Like if I want to, I, I wouldn't be able to pay for the like nutrition and hydration for the entire race. It just wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't want to. I think there are better options out there. Nice at home. Makes you feel good at least. Wow, Near, nearly 75% of people are dehydrated every day. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, so many thoughts. Uh, drink a glass of water. Your body will figure it out. Uh, or if you're dehydrated in training, well, I hate to be biased, but consult our app is one option. 75% of people are dehydrated every day, uh, not clinically dehydrated. I think they might mean lightly, slightly, non-clinically, sort of irrelevantly dehydrated. And what would you consider clinically dehydrated versus sport performance impacting dehydration? Dehydrated to the extent that you've lost like three or four percent of body weight would be clinically dehydrated or something that makes your sodium lab values off outside the normal range. Sport dehydration can be one, per one to two percent of body weight and it can become relevant for your sport performance. Okay, so for a 75 kilo person, the math comes out to you would need three sticks, you'd need three sticks per hour to stave off uh, m the most mild dehydration that would come in sport. In more severe sweat scenarios, you would need anywhere from like four to eight sticks per hour. And that does slightly depend on uh, your sweat rate and how salty your sweat is too, on average. Sure, yeah. yeah. I think that in general, if you feel thirsty, you are dehydrated. Unless you are an older adult, sometimes that thirst sensation can decrease. So if you are a master's athlete or a slightly older athlete, you do need to stay ahead of that hydration because sometimes you can't tell that you're thirsty. Whereas if you are a younger athlete, usually your thirst is on point and it, you will know when you're dehydrated. Dehydration negatively impacts physical and mental performance. That's a claim they make on the package. Accurate. Okay. Contains a precise ratio of sodium electrolytes and glucose, which activates the body's sodium glucose co-transporter to accelerate fluid absorption. Accurate. 
and so well worded for marketing. Yes. Um, yes, sugar and salt go together easier into your bloodstream than either alone. Yeah, and there's nothing special about this particular product. That's how every product is that has sugar and sodium. That's going to happen. So there's nothing like magical about this, just so you know. This works faster than most sports drinks and can be an effective alternative to an IV in mid to moderate dehydration. Uh, let's take those, those are two separate points there. So it works faster than most sports drinks. Yes, but you're comparing to a very sorry population of <laughs> formulated <laughs> beverages. Uh, and to, what was the second one? Can be an effective alternative to an IV in mid to moderate dehydration. Yeah, totally true, because you shouldn't be having an IV if you are in mid to moderate dehydration. And if you're competing, that's banned. Yep. I already looked into that because I thought, man, that'd be awesome. It's we like legal. to push the limits. <laughs> not legal. <laughs> not legal. <laughs> not legal. Not legal. <laughs> Sugar and salt is the way, folks. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to think if there's any situation that I'm not aware of where you could have an IV during training and have it be totally legal. There probably is some edge case, but I don't know what it is. I mean, you can do EN. Why couldn't you do... Do what? You can do enteral nutrition. I mean, folks, I'm sorry. Folks, we're, ta we're talking with... <laughs> you think I'm a deep diver? Uh, <laughs> she challenges me to go even deeper. She's talking about enteral nutrition that is sticking a tube straight into your gut during training to try to deliver the nutrients even faster well. skipping the upper part of your digestive system <laughs> and your swallowing mechanism so that you can keep breathing hard while you train hard and race hard no i'm saying some people have that and they're sure. allowed to compete it's not legal unless you have a very specific medical reason to have of course. that and how do you know it's not legal i looked it up <laughs> <laughs> i was just curious i wasn't going to do it mm -hmm. uh, in general this is sugar and salt it works great just like all sugar and salt, and you can buy this for $2.10 a stick, which is a total ripoff. Would you ever use this in sport? Uh, I would not waste my time because there are too many sticks to open. That's true. And I can't justify paying that much per Like, per here, stick. let me get off my bike. And here we go. Rip one. Okay, dump, 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 dump. Okay, that's a quarter of what I need in this bottle. Okay. Oh, I'm sweating heavily. It's I need five of these. Rip another. <laughs> dump, 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 dump. Realistically, I don't think anyone would actually do this. I think, you know what I think they would do? I think they would pour this into their hydration pack before their marathon, or they would put it in their bottles maybe before they started their event, whatever it is, or their training session. But uh, again, I just, what did you say it was? $2? For a stick? About $2.10. <sighs> for 330 milligrams of sodium and 9 grams of carbs? Oh no. About $8 an hour, $9 an hour. No, no. <laughs> Just no. Unless you really love the taste of these and you have money to burn, then go for it. Thanks so much for watching. If you love these, comment in the comment box. In the comment box. There's no comment box. What is a comment box? Until next time. <laughs> We're so cheesy.